So today, and I'm going to have people coming in and out. It's going to be a strange day. Uh, we've got people coming in and out to helping Doug do some final painting outside before the winter sets in. Uh, he's been painting the whole front of the side of the house all year. Let me go let the people in. <laughs> Oliver. And so it's it's a bit confusing, but that's I think that's what Vlogmas is, vlog, vlogmas is about. Come here, Oliver. It's okay. You know him. It's our, it's our next door neighbor. It's okay. He's just coming to help. So, but that's what Vlogmas is about, is messy. Everyday life is messy. But today's video is going to be short. I got my hair pulled back out of my way because I'm going to cook something. And it is something that I know all of you all have probably had. It is oyster crackers. But I found something exciting this year that I wanted to share the recipe again. Oyster crackers, I started making them when my son was just a little boy. And my son is 42 and my daughter is 46. So I started making them when they were real little. And it was just always a Christmas favorite. So then I went gluten, you made, they're made with oyster crackers, then I went gluten free. And the glutino crackers, I would crumble them or break them up and they worked okay, but they still weren't like the original. And then the glutino kind of went away or they got harder to find. And I tried other ones, but the thing about gluten-free crackers, it's hard to get it right, It, I think. The texture is can, can be really hard. It doesn't absorb the um, herbs well. It doesn't leave a good aftertaste. It doesn't cook well because you have to bake these. It's just a mess and it's unpleasant. And so, they asked me this year, come back to the regular oyster crackers, you know, we'll eat a little bit of them, those that are gluten-free. None of the rest of the family is as strict as I, I have to be. Uh, they can have a little bit of gluten. So I, I made some and they all disappeared. But in the meantime, I found these and they're, it's like a mirror. It's like a Christmas miracle, I'm telling you, food-wise. Okay, this is what they look like. They are the size of oyster crackers, but they're like little stars, okay? And I'll show you one. They are fantastic. They are better than oyster crackers. They are addictive. I can put them in soups. I can put them in chilies. I'm going to make white chicken chili tomorrow, uh, and I can put my oyster crackers in there. They are amazing. This is what they look like. I got my nails done. I tried to make them look like snow for Christmas. But, okay, but anyway, um, so I'm going to cook that. And it's just, you know, some, you bake it on 250. Well, I'll tell you as I'm cooking it. But I'm going to do that. I've got to clean this house. It is nasty. And it's, I'm a, I'm a few days late cleaning. It's got to get done today. We've got a, which I'll show some of that tomorrow. Are you eating one of the crackers? I guess you are. And then I will, um, I've got to get ready for a play that one of my granddaughters is in. So if I get it, if I think about it, I'll show my outfit for that. But I may put this up. That might be going tomorrow's vlog. And But today's is going to be short. It's going to be mainly cooking. And I might show you a few things around the house. So um, anyway, let's get cooking those oyster crackers. So before I turn the camera around and start cooking, I did want to... Uh, talk about two things. The first one is comments. Uh, I just appreciate the comments so very much. I answer what I can now and then I'm taking off the week after Christmas and I can really sit down and look everything over then. So that'll, that gives me something to look forward to after Christmas. And um, affiliate links, I haven't been leaving any affiliate links since I started this because I do double links. I do a non-affiliate link and an affiliate link. People have mixed feelings about affiliate links. Some people don't like them. Uh, so what I always do is provide an affiliate link for those that choose to use them. It helps me out some. And a non-affiliate link. If you don't want to, if you want to see the product but don't want to click on one of my affiliate links, then you can see it that way. Uh, but during this time, uh, I'm just going to, I think, do affiliate links 
and you don't have to click on them if you don't want to. That's fine. I understand. And then after Vlogmas is over with, when I have more time, I will go back to doing non-affiliate links along with the affiliate links. So hopefully you won't mind that too much. But, you know, if you don't want to click on them, then, you know, click don't. I, I don't want to make anybody mad or uncomfortable. So anyway, let's go ahead and get cooking. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is need a big pan, and you're going to heat the oven to 250. Um, okay, the, let me give you your, your list of ingredients. It's one package of Hidden Valley Ranch dressing. This is a substitute from Primal Palette uh, that my daughter and I bought. <laughs> That's a ring. That my daughter-in-law bought and gave to me, and she bought a bunch of those. It measures out slightly more than the Hidden Valley Ranch packet, so I just add a little bit less, or you can add the whole amount to get some extra flavor. I like the, tape, the flavor of ranch, the dry ranch dressing. You, uh, I do my dry ingredients first, which is a teaspoon of dill weed, a teaspoon of lemon pepper, a teaspoon of garlic powder. Then you add, it calls for, now this is an old recipe, it calls for three-fourths a cup of salad oil, and I know people, a lot of people don't like to use salad oil, so whichever oil that you would like to use, any kind that doesn't have a strong or a taste to it, you know, that, that is your preference that you like to use. So, uh, and you, then you add the oil and then you mix all that together and then you, okay, I'm back. Uh, I had to. I keep forgetting. I keep getting phone calls. My son is a videographer and they're going to use the front two rooms to film some kind of sequence. Okay, so I'm going to shut these doors. Okay, uh, so got that. Uh, but the dry ingredients you add to the ranch dressing mix that you've already got in there. Okay, then you add your oil and then your crackers. You mix all that up and then you add your crackers after you've got it all mixed up. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'll start with the ranch, or you know, faux ranch, or a ranch dressing substitute. I think I'm gonna put it all in there because let's see, I'm gonna hold back a little bit. Yep, I don't want it too strongly flavored. Okay, I'll hold back a little bit, and I can always add more. Well, by the way, bake at 250. I don't know if you, if I mentioned that or not turn that on. It's a low heat. You're just kind of warming up the crackers and getting it, drawing them out. You're drawing out the crackers. So one teaspoon of dill. Mm. I love the smell of dill. I like the taste of dill too. I put it on tomato soup. It's so good. Okay. Um, one teaspoon of lemon pepper. I like. I put lemon pepper on broccoli roast broccoli and put lemon pepper. Oh, it's so good. And let's see, one teaspoon of garlic powder. We have to buy a new thing of it, so let me open it. Oh. teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay. And kind of mix that together. In my big pan. I have made some substitutes over the years, you know, adding a different oil and uh, adding a little bit different type of, you know, ranch dressing type. I am going to put a little bit more in there. Use your judgment. I like the taste. Okay. Uh, now, uh, let's see, three-fourths three cup of your oil. Okay, then I add my oil to it. Mix it all up. You just mix it all up in this great big pan before you add your... Um, crackers. I was going to show y'all my new flip flops. I wear flip Javianas year round inside, you know. Um, and so, look at them, aren't they cute? Got me some new ones. Let me go wash my hands now. All right. Now, let me finish mixing this up. Okay, 
got some spices all mixed with it. Now, I'm going to just start pouring in my oyster cracker. Now, the recipe, and I'll, I'll put the recipe below. The recipe calls for five cups of oyster crackers. Uh, I'll, I'll measure out five cups. Let's see how it measures, how these measure. They're the same size as I had to do when I was doing the regular crackers and breaking them up. I had to measure them a little bit differently. I had to just kind of eyeball it. But let me try measuring these. One. Four. I'll be cutting in and out because I will. There are people coming in to film in the front room. <laughs> okay, so that was five cups. I'm going to stir it all up. I may need to add more. Hey, kids. Hi. How are you all? Hi. Come on in. Just there's the camera's just right here, but y'all can just go on by. Yeah, go. Please it's okay. It's fine. Go. Oyster crackers. I'm showing how I make oyster crackers. Good meeting, man. Thank you. Yeah, well, I'll uh, give you some. These are gluten free and they're good. Okay, I put some more in and I'll get. Yeah, that's absorbing more. You don't want them too greasy, but you don't want them too dry. So you just kind of get a feeling for it. So I'm going to put it in now and set my timer periodically every few minutes or five minutes or so, five, six minutes. Uh, just turn it and it'll cook evenly. But that's what it looks like going in. So those are my oyster crackers with uh, the gluten-free, the new little gluten-free star oyster crackers. They're really, really good. So I hope you enjoyed if you make it and thank you. Yesterday I talked about the neighbor's cat, Tiger, and how much Oliver loved him. And I also talked about how photogenic he was. So I had taken some pictures of him and I just thought they turned out so beautiful because he's just got those beautiful eyes. I think they, you know, some cats have like almost like eyeliner around their eyes. And he's one of them that just, he photographs beautifully. So I wanted to include those. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, I really appreciate it. It was a shorter one. But I still hope it was enjoyable, and everybody have a wonderful rest of the evening. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.